fellow cleansers, welcome to day four, the final day of the cleanse. Congratulations. You made it this far. And congratulate yourself. Even if you had a couple hiccups along the way and you had to do a couple extreme things to get yourself through it, it's fine. You got here and you're learning a lot. And that is the point about this cleanse. This cleanse, no cleanse can cure you. The best you can ha happen to a cleanse is you learn a lot about your body and how to move forward and take really good care of yourself so that you can prevent chronic disease in your future. And that's what this cleanse is all about. I've done this cleanse at least eight times and it always enlightens me and you get better and better at taking it and you understand it and you understand your body better. So it's really, really important that you pay attention because when you have the headaches and the malaise, you feel tired, foggy. Those are all A, signs of blood sugar and signs of detox. You know you're going into the fat cells of your body and you're burning old molecules of fat that are holding toxins and you're burning them right out of your cells. And that is what snacking keeps you from doing is really burning your fat. You want to eat high quality, quality fat from here on out and you want to eliminate all the mindless snacking that gives you short bursts of energy, but isn't that long, is not that long, nice burning energy. At this point, you should feel like, you know, you've had some times where you feel pretty good. You don't feel like snacking, you don't miss the crap food. That is because you are into the fat burning mode. You're very satisfied, you're burning that ghee, and you're not having any sort of cravings. That is good, deep, fat burning and that's where you want to be. So on today we do it the same but on the final end of the day we have a light dinner or no dinner either ah. one. So when it comes to the final flush it's very important to take a warm bath a nice warm Epsom salt bath or a warm shower or even taking a hot water bottle and putting it over your gut. You want to get it nice and soft and I, through experience this is true, this will help the elimination process. Because we've driven all of the toxins from our cells that we've released during this process and they are piling up in the digestive system, down in your gut. And we're gonna eliminate those and push them, flush them through with a protocol of Epsom salt, olive oil, and fresh lemon in a glass and drink it. If you have normal digestion, there's one recipe I sent you on the email and if there's, if you have um, more difficult digestion, you can up it up a little bit. If you have sensitive digestion, you might try just the prune juice. But either one of those will work. And if you've been eliminating the entire four days yourself, then you might not have a big final flush elimination. But give it a try and see what happens. There's no downside to doing the final flush. But you want to get everything out that you've accumulated in your body. And I'm so proud of you guys. And tomorrow I have a little discussion about how to move forward because you're going to feel like, now what? I feel like I've really lightened myself up. Tomorrow I'm going to put a video out to tell you how to go forward after you've done this four-day detox. And some of the things that you can incorporate that will really help you move forward and feel good about your choices in the future. This has been a great cleanse for you guys. And you want to take all the knowledge you've learned and put it forward. That's the point of the cleanse. I'll see you tomorrow and happy final flush. Have a great day.